Hello everyone, welcome to 2-Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm going to tell you about an application called Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a free web application that allows you to take from the best educational videos on the internet and to customize them and make them your own for your lesson. You can do this by cropping the video, by adding audio or audio notes, and also by adding questions that the students will answer as they move through the video. The user interface is extremely easy to use and it will only take me a couple of minutes to get you up and using this program for your classroom. So let's take a look. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is go to edpuzzle.com. Once you've reached edpuzzle.com, you're going to click on Teacher and then log in in the top right hand corner and then you can use your Gmail address, Edmodo, or regular email address to create a login. Once you've created this login, you're going to go to this home page and the home page will begin to walk you through the creation of your first video and your first class. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is type a video search in the search bar. Uh, today we're doing personal narrative, so I'm going to type that in and you're going to get a list of videos. From that list of videos, you click it and preview it. Make sure it's the video you want to use. I've used this one before, so I'm going to use it. And from there, it takes you right into the editing bay. The first thing it's going to give you the opportunity to do is to crop your video, to shorten it to just the part of the video that you would like to use. The next button is a voiceover button that allows you to lay voice over the top of the video. And the next button is an audio note button, which I think is very interesting. This button allows you to add an audio note, which pauses the video allows you to elaborate on what the video is saying and then when you're finished the video begins to automatically start playing again. The next and last step is to add questions. There are no limits to the amount of questions that you can add. There are open-ended questions, there are multiple choice questions, and then you can also just add a text blurb. Okay, uh, Just a, a text note to the video as they play along. There's no limit to the amount of audio notes or questions that you can add and then when you're finished you're just going to go up to the top and hit save and hit finish. And then it's going to prompt you to create your class. You're going to give your class a name. It gives you the opportunity to check a box to keep your students from skipping ahead in the video. And then you assign a due date. You click the class to assign and you hit save. It's going to take you to this page. It's going to give you a class code for your students to use to join your class. This is a class that I've had and we're going to check on it in progress. These students are currently working through the video. It's going to show you at the top how much of the video they've completed and then it's going to give you a list of the answers to the questions that they've completed so far. This way you don't have to wait for the students to be done to go through and grade their work to make sure they're understanding what it is the video is telling them. At any point during the video if you feel like they're just not getting it you can hit reset and they have to start the video all over again. Okay, that's it for Edpuzzle. I think this is a wonderful web application that allows you to really give the students some space and agency over their own learning while at the same time allowing you to monitor their progress and still really be a part of what's going on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe below and each week 2 Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technology and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Hello.